I got a new job and I cut seaweed. What you do, you go down to the shore, you get your boat and you find a nice space with a nice long seaweed, you cut it, you get a net, you wrap it in a big ball and you bring it in and then it gets weighed and you get paid by the tonne. Nice offshore wind in that direction. and uh, It's going to kind of favour it even more later on yeah. today. So. I think you're going to start earning some pennies. Good, good. And Casey here is showing me the ropes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Gardening is very good for your mental health, good for the soul. You're outdoors, just taking in all the kind of nature and the scenery and stuff and getting the vitamin D. I'm a bit like this job. Reminds me of being a gardener of the sea. Great thing is I don't have any clients. <laughs> just mother nature. There's good money to be made. Because seaweed is like, it's like the superfood now, isn't it? It's used for so many things, like good for your face, good for your body. So everyone's after it. They put it in your animal feed, and it's good for plants. And we're here. Good for now, I'm going home now. We need to get cutting because we're the tide's oh, yes, going out. Yeah. Like, coming in. I'm following in the footsteps of crofters who have been cutting seaweed for centuries, selling their haul as food and fertilizer. And luckily for me, it's now back in demand. But it's back breaking work. It's not easy to get hold of people to come and harvest. Um, we do struggle with it. So in, in that way, I suppose it is under threat. Like me, Casey's a city boy incomer. He came here for years before making the big move. Who would have thought a degree in geography would lead to a job in seaweed harvesting? I didn't know anything about it until I, um, until I moved, moved to the island. So what we want to do is cut it in a way that's going to regenerate and grow back fast so we can then come back and harvest it again in a few years. If I was to just pull this off the rock now, it's going to take a long time for new recruitment to happen. The harder you work, the more time you put into it, the more seaweed you're going to cut, and then at the end of the day, heavier your weight's going to be and the more you get paid. One of the best jobs I've ever had. <laughs> no, I think there's a lot of transferable skills from gardening. He's got the, he's got the squat and the squat technique. Down. Yeah, just keep bending over and cutting the seaweed. We start as the tide goes out so we can access the seaweed as it becomes visible. And we cut as much as we can before the tide comes back in. After six hours in the water, the tides come in, bringing the cut seaweed to the surface so we can harvest it. Start pulling it slowly towards yourself. So if you can see there's lots of floats at the top. Basically, we're pulling the two sides of the ring together so we can make a massive ball, but it's easy said than done because the ground is treacherous and it's a funny balancing act. It's kind of fun at the end of the day. Just don't fall in. That's a big old ball we got today. It takes around four years for the seaweed to replenish, but while it grows back, there's always more than enough to cut all over the island. This lot will do nicely for animal or human food or organic fertilizer. I'd never thought about cutting seaweed, but now I'm, I'm in it, I'm just like, this is, this is me to a T. I'm happy. The harvest will get picked up tomorrow and taken to the factory to be weighed. What's it gonna be? What's, <laughs> what are you gonna get? <laughs> Alex has just got money signed in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> money, cha ching Casey reckons this lot weighs around seven tons. How much? 272 pounds. There you go. All right, cool. nice right. one. Thank you, Casey. Thank you very much. That means I only need to work every other week. So very different from my life in London.